Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Man, who right and who wrong in the situation? Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. The battle rap streets been kind of dead, but now this is like the big story going on right now. It's a situation between Dot and Bad News in New Jersey. Twerk. I ain't going to tell you the situation, but y'all know how it went down. I'm just going to put it like this. Dot, him and um Bad News got into an altercation. Dot got bad news on the ground. Down goes bad news. You know, you see it right here. It's footage of this, man. Y'all go look it up. But then what happened? Bad news when his homeboys pulls up with the blicky. And Dot had to retreat, you know. He had to leave. He had to leave the situation. They standing tall like they did something, right? And it's a few people in the um battle rap community that I, I follow on Twitter. And I seen some things they were saying. Piper Boy Williams, he said, Dot tried to get away, man, to try to jump him. Dude came with a blicky. That's corny. You know? That's what he said. Calico came back and said, yo, y'all lame as hell for this. It's kind of lame. But you see people like Froze, a.k.a. Rosenberg Raw. He said, who raised y'all niggas? My pops, you know, and his rules simple. One fight, we all fight. That's what I'm saying. Who right and who wrong? I kind of side with both of them. You don't do that. It's an unfair fight. Like, them, they, they getting it in. Let them do their thing. But then again, like, hey, that's my mans and them. Hey, I ain't finna let them get smutted out like that. You know, hey, jumping in there, do something. Hey, I don't know, man. Y'all tell me who right and who wrong in this situation. Um, It depends what type of nigga you is, what type of person you is. I don't know, because Froze, he was like, yo, my daddy taught me, like, hey, if it's going down, it's going down. But then y'all calling, like this, like I said, you got Piper Boy and Calico saying, yeah, that's kind of lame, cuz, because, you know. So, look, I'm on both sides. It's crazy. It depends. I've been on the wrong side of shit like that. I've been jumped and I jumped people before, you see. It don't, it don't feel good when you're getting jumped, but when you're jumping people, <laughs> you get them. Smash them, cuz, you know. That's how I go down sometimes, man. It just, it just depends where you at in life. It depends where you at in life, man. When you was young, you can do that stuff, and you get old, you be like, nah, I ain't, I ain't studying that type of shit no more, man. Y'all gone with that, man. Y'all go ahead, cuz. But I was young and dumb. I, fuck it, cuz. Eight on one. Nah, I'm playing. Hey, the situation that, uh, you know, it's kind of crazy to me, though, in this whole situation between um, New Jersey twerk and diet and bad news. And I don't know the, the ins and outs. I don't know. It, it just looked crazy, man, for, for this right here. New Jersey twerk. On that boy chest like that, man. Hey, that's crazy. I mean, everybody said he looked like a Ninja Turtle without the mask on and Jason Voorhees without the mask and all that stuff. But the way it was presented, like you got Dot right here. I mean, not Dot. You got Bad News presenting this footage. You know, he's like, he got his hand out like, look, you see, look at your man. It's like, yo, mm -hmm. Dot might have to spin the block, you. This is me personally. You ain't going to do me like that, man. Like that, that look bad, yo. That look real bad. As a man, you getting done like this. That's how you get done, cuz. I mean, New Jersey twerk with 6'13", and this dude like one foot one. I don't know the metrics of these niggas, but y'all know what I'm talking about, man. That dude little and that dude big. It don't look right. Um, You can hear him in the background like, I ain't want to do this to you. I told you a hundred times or something like this, man. It's footage out there. Y'all go check that shit out, man. Because it's everywhere. But I'm just saying, that don't look right. That don't look right, man. How you know what that man feeling inside? He getting held down like a little boy. Nigga doing CPR on his chest. He... Come back to life. One, two, three. You want no mouth to mouth going on, but you know what I mean? Look at look at that. That is a bad look as a grown man, yo. I don't know that dude got kids or not. But yo, I'm not going to let my kids see this, yo. My kids see me getting done like this. Spin the block, uh, brr, brr, brr. everybody must die. I don't know, man. That's just me personally. When I seen this, I'm sick. I'm looking at this whole situation like, cause, cause I'm, I'm just the outside looking in. I'm looking at this shit. I'm looking like, damn. Oh, he said it's corny. He said it's corny. He said it ain't. It's like, oh, hmm. It, it just shows what type of nigga you is, yo. I think it's corny. I first see, cause when I heard about the situation, it was like, oh, why he running from? What? Why he running? Or. I mean, Dot Little, first of all. I think Bad News is, is bigger than Dot, but everybody think 
bad news a better fighter than that from just the aesthetics on the you know how it looked but you see my man hit the ground like oh bad news you took a hell you, you oh it's when they get done to you it's when they get done to you maybe you know you may could have kicked out of it because on the ground you did it like a little ninja move and all that stuff trying to get back into the situation but your man came to help you he came to run down with this thing and that, that's pussy man that's pussy to me first of all like you ain't gonna use it don't show it well you should have just bust him in the head with it or something you should have went and pushed him off or something or y'all should have jumped it, it, a whole lot of things that could have happened and should have happened, but it didn't happen. You just going out there and showing it like, hey, man, back up. Get off my man's in there. You got the two Leo. You man, fuck out of here, man. Like, you ain't had to use it. You just had to go over there and use your hands. Shit, go over there if you want to Like, if you want to be like Froze and say, look, like my daddy said, we both got to go in. Don't, don't, don't bring the stick with you, man. I don't know. We definitely be talking about this Friday on this channel because I go live every Friday talking about stuff just like this right here on this channel. You just got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit the like. No, first of all, tell me in the comment section how you feel about it. Who right and who wrong? Um, are you more on the side of Calico and Piper Boy Williams or are you more on the side of Frozenberg or Rosenberg Raw? Of the, um, that's corny for y'all doing that and, or no, nah, do that. So it's, it's two ways to go about it. It's a right or wrong. And y'all just got to deal with it. Come up with your own um, assessments of the situation and tell me. But, yo, I'm just saying, that just didn't look right to me, first of all. Mo mostly of all, to me, that just didn't look right as a, um, as a father and a grown-ass man. And Doc, I don't know, man. Maybe you just need to relax. I don't know. Say alcohol was involved and all that. But maybe you just got to relax, yo, because a motherfucker like me would be in your ear telling you to go back. And do something, you know. But then again, a person like me also be like, man, leave that shit alone, man. See, it depends, man. It depends. It depends. So I'm on both sides. I'm like, I'm, I'm with it, and I ain't with it. Got kids, man. That's why. Younger me. Thought I came in that bitch with a damn axe or something. God damn it! Everybody must go. And then they say, um, Briz Rothstein came with the hammer. I'm coming with the ratchet. Come with the ratchet with the child. Fuck up everybody. Anyway, like I said, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and holler at your boy. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and holler at your boy. Heist man the foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinion. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.